Well, it's been quite a while since Charlotte's been in for a checkup, but I got her on the examination table today. Got some cobwebs to knock out. I'm thinking about giving her some new shoes to wear to the ball. I'm probably going to use these tires here. I put them up for sale on one of the sites that I sell stuff on, but uh, I'm kind of hoping I don't sell them because these would look pretty sweet on uh, the old girl. I'm not going to have the white walls out, but just to give you an idea, these are the wrong bolt pattern rims, but I can't get them up closer or I would, but if I had wheel spacers, it'd probably look kind of cool like that. But let me see if I can get one of the. I got 30 inch tires for the front, and then I got 31s for the rear. So let's see if we can mock this up. The car's a little bit too tall to look right, but let's see here. But I might consider putting a lift on it. But see, those are fronts. Let's get one of the rears over here. Here's the tires that were on it. I'm going to reuse the rims because on a car this big and heavy, um, I don't trust aluminum rims, anyways. So, but let's get one of these 31s over here. I already tell people that this car is like driving something straight out of a video game. But I think with these bad boys on it, they never want to sit right. Let's see here. All right, you're going to be difficult. That's okay. I can work around that. But I am going to end up doing a little bit of a lift. I'm just trying to get the tire to sit basically where it's supposed to sit. So, it's going to kind of look like that, but they're not going to be sticking out as far. So, but... Oh, maybe... Who knows? Maybe I'll put some wheel spacers on it and have them stick out that far. That looks kind of... Looks a little crazy. But... They're going to sit in pretty flush because I need them to cut, tuck in up under the wheel well as best as possible. But I'm going to probably have to take a sawzall to some parts. I'm going to have to modify the um, control arms and my limit straps and just I'm gonna have some stuff I gotta do but I figured I'd do a little video with Charlotte because she never seems to get a whole bunch of attention lately but she still starts up and runs I start her up about once every two weeks and uh, make sure all the door hinges and latches stay lubed Ugh. So, but she's still got plenty of voltage and plenty of oil and got all the, the armor plating is still intact. So, but yeah, so all these tires and wheels are going to go in the um, slug bug truck or uh, what I like to call the, the smart car flatbed. I'm going to take a bunch of camping gear out of here and I'm going to load all these tires up and get uh, get the wheels and tires on the tires and wheels that they're supposed to be on and get her back down on the ground. It's crazy because these tires came off of a, a um, conversion van. They came off a Dodge 
which I actually expected the, the lug pattern to be right, but it's just barely off. So these police interceptor wheels off of the newer cars fit, and these wheels that are off of the Cherokee, which I'm selling these wheels and tires too, they fit, but these have completely the wrong offset, and these are just, <laughs> this is, this will give you kind of a, a rough idea. Okay, these are off of my Jeep Cherokee, okay, and those are 35s. These are 31s, and uh, this is actually kind of funny. All these wheels just want too much attention. Ugh. Any suckers are big. <laughs> Look at how big that is. It doesn't even remotely fit where it needs to fit. But there's with a 35 inch mud terrain. And here's with a 31 inch ter mud terrain. So it would look pretty cool with really big tires on it, but I've got it up on jack stands with the actual suspension dangling. And um, yeah, eh, it's just a wee too big. Let me sit one of these. Oh, I gotta go put these back anyways, because like I said, I'm selling these. I've gotten my money's worth out of them, but so here uh, yep, and they're just gonna go wherever they want to go okay, go ahead, take a little walk keep going yep, just keep on going so that's what came off the Jeep this is what's gonna go on the um, this is a comparison of the front and the back tires that are going on Charlotte. So they don't look that different, but this is a 39.5, and this is a 31.10.5, and then this is a 33.12.5, and then I'll compare those to the one of the rear tires that came off of Charlotte which are it's funny all these tires are Goodyear's so this is what's going to be kind of trippy is that so this is a 235-75 R15 and so that would make this one here roughly Probably a 28 or 29. Let's get the other tire out of the picture here. So, there we're looking at height wise, and of course, they all want to roll around. But this is what's going to go on the rear, and that's what's going to go on the front. And uh, so, it's not going to be that big of a difference, but the tread is just actually the carcass. Is probably almost the same size those on the left might actually very well be a 30 inch tire um, so this is compared to a front because here's the 31 so this is a true comparison of so yeah now we got a pretty significant difference so but we're gonna have to do some fender trimming and some some redneck backwoods sawzall sledgehammer beaten get her done modification right here. So I'll let you see it when we're done. But got a pretty good feeling from about right here where we welded the rebar up to about here and down. I'm gonna be doing some cutting. Thanks for watching.